think Hurry, Mr. Bergeron's on Don't forget the popcorn, Frank Coming, dear Hi, my name's Art Bergeron. Welcome to the first episode uh, of Bergeron Briefs. Uh, this is a, a show that I have started here in Westboro uh, that I do in some other communities. Uh, the purpose of the show is to really introduce you to the people here in the community that you need to know if you're older, if you were a senior. Uh, this really try, I, through these shows, I try to supplement the seminars that I do here and in other communities to talk about elder issues. But there are sometimes those seminars aren't the right way to really be kind of knowing who the people are that you ought to know if you're living here and you're an older person. And one of the people you ought to know is Christiana Pitts. Uh, Christiana works at the Highlands, which you also ought to know about. And that's what we're going to talk a little bit about today. So, Christiana, thank you very, very much for coming for to this show. Me. Thank you. First of all, just tell me about who you are and how you ended up at the Highlands and what you were doing before that. Well, what you were doing as a little kid, whatever you want to talk about, but then tell me a little bit about the Highlands itself and, and what's that, what that is about. Sure. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Christiana Pitts. I am the activities coordinator for the Highlands. Mm -hmm. um, I live in Connecticut, and I travel down here. Um, every day to come to work and I'm enjoying it very much and I'm enjoying your town as well. Um, prior to uh, coming to the Highlands I mm -hmm. was still doing, um, I was working for uh, the same type of communities. Yeah. Um, yeah. As an activities coordinator I started off as a part-time temporary person and it emerged in seven months to going to my own building and it emerged from there to being with a company for almost three years and then I was offered the position here and um, it seemed like the right fit to do and it and it actually has been so that's how I got to Westboro. That's great and were you here on opening day here in Westboro? I was. I was here when there were actually plastic still hanging in the building so opening you were day. Here before opening day. I was here Westboro. before opening day. And the Highlands is that big beautiful place It's right on Route 30. Yes, right? The people, everybody has driven by and said, oh, what's that exactly? Right? Yes. And, and kind of just seen it, right? So, so talk a little bit about the Highlands. The Highlands, the Highlands? the Highlands is, um, we are an independent community, mm -hmm. a senior community. Uh, we have 124 apartments there. Mm -hmm. uh, we started off with 10 people. We now have approximately 110 people, and we have about seven apartments still available for anybody who's interested. And your first anniversary is coming right up. Yes, I think it is. You just, I heard you mention before the show, it's like in a week or something. It's very, very soon, yes. right? It's January 26th, to be exact. Uh, this yeah. Sunday on the 18th, we're going to have a big celebration, and our executive chef is going to prepare our very scrumptious meal so if anybody would like to come down and have a tour and people are welcome to see and it. they are welcome to stay and dine with us as and, well and I guess that's one of the reasons why I wanted you on the show I, th I think so so often folks let me put it this way um, if people have gone to my seminars they realize I always talk about my friends Frank and Mary who are my my make-believe couple and they and they, they live in their own home and their goal is to die and be buried in the backyard nobody typically wants to leave home, right? True. Especially That's the older true. you get, right? That's true. Um, and the Highlands is kind of an alternative for folks who who want don't necessarily want to stay at home or for whom, and this is what I really try to tell people, there's a point at which sometimes you just can't stay home because it's not safe anymore. That's true. And the question is kind of what are the alternatives, right? That's true. But it's very intimidating moving to one of these alternatives. So tell, tell me about the Highlands as an alternative. First of all, how old is the typical person who lives at the Highlands right now? Well, our community is yeah. is for uh, 55 plus. Mm -hmm. The average person I would say living there is mm -hmm. uh, 81 or About so 81. years old. Yeah. Yes, it is. But it's designed so that for any particular reason, you know, you don't have to be elderly that you are able to live there. I see. Uh, right. And so, and you're absolutely right about that. Uh, we provide the service, you know, there for people so that they um, 
so that they're safe. Yeah, so that, so they're, that they're safe. safe. Yeah. And so tell me about who the typical person is who is there. Is that person, you told me about what their age is, are they usually from Westboro? Are they usually from this area or outside? Kind of who comes? Who is, who, because obviously this has been very popular because you've, you're practically full after only one year. Yes. So, so tell me about who comes to this place. Well, sometimes it's um, the person's idea to come, but usually yeah. the children come because mm -hmm. they're concerned about their parents and they're looking for a safe environment for their parent to live in, mm -hmm. uh, somebody who's going to care for them, who will be there 24 hours, you know, care service for them. Yeah. Um, and we, we are we do have that available. We have live on on-site managers that live there. I just want to step back yeah. for a second. So the people who are, are they mostly from Westboro or are they mostly from this area or from outside? No, they're from, really they're from outside. They yeah. come also from Florida. They come from all over because usually what happens is that the children are here right. and if they're looking for uh, a place that, you know, this here. To be close. To be close. To be close. As I, I, my, I, I often talk to my clients and they'll say, you know, I like to be close to my kids, but I don't want to be living with my kids, you know, I want to maintain my independence. That's actually surprised me about, as, as these assisted living communities have developed in this area, how, how often it's not folks who live, who grew up right here, or who were, but people who have got kids here. That's, that, really kind that's of true. Now, I just want to clarify that we're yeah. not an assistant living. We are independent right. living, okay? So, so talk yeah. about that. Talk about the difference, because certainly most people driving by initially would assume, well, this is assisted living. Right. right. The, uh, we're independent living, meaning that um, we have... Um, this is your first time on camera with me, so you're I'm dying. So okay. sorry. But you have stuff. You have stuff. So what do you have? Uh, what we have available, we yeah. have three prepared chef uh, prepared meals per day by yeah. scratch. Yeah. We have the managers that live on site 24 hours a day. Yeah. We have transportation available. If you do not drive, you can most certainly bring your car, but mm -hmm. if it comes a time that you have to let go of the car, we have that Monday through Friday. We take you to doctor's appointments. We take you shopping. We have outings. We have... Um, housekeeping service available to you. Go back to the transportation, so outings. Like for example, what have you done this year? You've been there for a year now, so yes. what have you done for outings? We have gone out to Connecticut. As yeah. I said, I'm from there, so I've taken them out there. You invited them uh, over to, their, you, to their, your house? Not yet, but this moment. year I think I just might yes. do that. Yeah. Um, we've actually gone to the casino. We have yeah. gone out to Foxwoods. We did venture out there. It's a little far. We've gone to yeah. Twin Rivers. We go out on Wednesdays. Uh, we go out to eat. We go to IHOPs. We go out to various restaurants restaurants to do that. Um, we've yes. gone, we've, we go many places, but we have a scheduled time. Mm -hmm. Tuesdays through and Thursdays are our scheduled doctor's appointments day. So mm -hmm. if your parent has an appointment with the doctor, um, we will transport them there or wherever they have to go. And I think you had mentioned to me once that, that you actually try to work closely with some of the doctors right here in the area. Yes. So that you try to provide that services yes. for people who've got doctors who are fairly close. Yes, and when yeah. you come, if you come from out of state, yeah. we, uh, that's another thing we do do that. I have uh, I've had a lot of doctors and a lot of different folks to come to the community to mm -hmm. offer their services. Um, it's been really good. Uh, so some of the, resident, the residents has um, changed over their doctors to the local ones here in town. I see. So it's good. I see.